conservatives used to take it and we're not taking it anymore. Media mogul Andrew Breitbart has died at the age of 43. He was known for his work as a conservative webmaster who said he loved what he was doing. Andrew was an aggressive voice for the conservative movement who has really left us, I think, with a legacy that we need to take to heart. He stood his ground. He didn't back down. He aggressively advocated for the conservative uh, patriotic positions and was unafraid of the backlash from the hysterical left and the mainstream media lynch mob. Breitbart spoke at a pub at an Americans for Limited Government event back in 2009. The main topic was the liberal media. The problem is, is that Bill Maher, The View, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Ro uh, uh, Oprah Winfrey, every single pop culture arbiter, uh, David Letterman, I could go down the list. They rigged the game so that they win on the media. Over 40 years of that dominance and the conservative movement following Paul Weyrich's we lost the culture war, you know, let, let's not fight it, let's not engage in it. That's why we're in deep peril. In 2009, the Republican Party seemed almost confused. Breitbart addressed this. I promise you, if you start putting some of your effort towards changing the image of the Republican Party, stop acting like your great-great-grandfather and, and, and not be afraid of pop culture, not uh, being afraid to go into the lion's den and to represent your point of view. I don't know, we're not going to win. Breitbart addressed the overthrow of liberalism in Hollywood. Conservatives that I know that do work in the industry, um, Adam Sandler being one of them, uh, uh, they don't make conservative movies. I mean, every now and then they get a little jab in there. I'm not looking to create Ronald Reagan, the epic movie. You know, we have to learn how to be entertaining and play the game the way that they play the game. They play it incredibly well. ALG President Bill Wilson says the fight in Hollywood is not something that's already lost. It's only been in the last 30, 35 years that Hollywood has changed from an entertainment industry into a political industry. We're going to hold you to the same standard that you hold to us, which is an impossible one, and you're going to have a hell of a time in 2012. Breitbart's ability to be a conservative who knew how to play pop culture was unique. His fans will remember him as someone who fought tough fights because he believed in what he was fighting for. Reporting from Washington, Frank McCaffrey.